Hey guys, Caleb here with Steve Meyer Service today to take a look at a few small, medium, and large chainsaws. Perfect for homeowners. So first off, we got this steel MS-170 right here. This is a great beginner saw, uh, a minimal use, or even more like a trim saw. Uh, so it's going to be great for all three of those uses. Uh, what's nice about it is, it's a real lightweight package coming in at 8.6 pounds. It's going to have a 30cc engine and put out 1.7 horsepower. Now it's got some real common features like the chain brake, you're going to have your recoil right here, you're going to have your gas in the rear, you're going to have your oil reservoir in the front. Then if we turn the saw around, you're going to be able to get to your bar nuts on this side. If we look at the front of the saw, you're going to have your chain adjuster right in here. As we go to the back of the saw, this is where your air filter housing is going to be. And then right here we have your starting procedure. Now on most steels, most being the steels that do not run an M-Tronic carburetor, which the saws we'll be talking about today do not run that feature, uh, the starting procedure is going to be the same. So what you're going to do is pull the trigger and pull, push that lever all the way down to the full choke position. When you're ready to start the machine, go ahead and pull the rope. You're probably going to pull it about three to four times. It's going to pop, which means it's going to start and die real quick. Then go ahead and bump that lever up once to the half choke position. Go ahead and pull out on another two to three times and it's going to start. When it does start, go ahead and pull that trigger. It's going to put the saw in the running position. And when you're done, go to the O position for off. Like I said, real nice chainsaw. Uh, it's great for small trim work. Uh, you know, that minimal use where you may use it once a year and you're not getting into anything too big. Uh, or if you're first starting out and you want to get a good feel for a chainsaw and not be overwhelmed by a lot of power on some other models, this is a great saw for that. Alright, so next, we're going to take a look at the MS-250-1, or what Steel calls their Wood Boss. Now, this is a great saw, comes in with an 18-inch bar, uh, has some real nice features. This is what I would consider to be the first true chainsaw, meaning you can take this out, you can do some cutting with it, you can get after it. I also think this is a real nice saw as the probably the best overall saw. If you're that somebody who uses it a couple times a year, uh, you might get into some, you know, 10, 12, 16 inch uh, logs or something like that, uh, but nothing too crazy. I think this is a, a really, really nice saw. So uh, just like on the 170, you got your fuel in the back, you got your oil in the front, we got your recoil right here. Uh, chain brake up top, as we go to the side, one thing I do like about this that they change on the, the 251 compared to the 170 is your chain adjuster is right here on the side. So you don't have to stick your tool there in the front and try and tweak it. You just loosen that bar nut right there, tweak your, your chain tension, make sure you're where you want to be, and then you're good to go. And then, just like the MS-170, you got your starting procedure here in the back, which is pull your trigger all the way down, three to four pulls till it pops. Go ahead and bump it up to the half choke, another two to three pulls till it starts. Hit the trigger, and then it's ready in the running position. Then when you're ready to shut it off, go to the off position. Like I said, MS-251, great all-around saw. Um, this is really a, a popular one for us because it, it just does a nice job in all categories. So it comes in at 11 pounds. Uh, puts out 3 horsepower and has a 45cc engine. So like I said guys, real nice saw. Then, when you need to take a step up from that, we have the Steel MS-271 Farm Boss. Which, this is really getting up to be, you know, have some good size to it. So, this is would really be the first saw that we suggest for people who, uh, you know, cut wood to heat their homes. This is where we start at. Now, they do make a lot of more, a lot more saws. Uh, above this one, uh, you can get into the Pro Series saws, you can get into saws that run, you know, bigger bars and everything. Uh, but if you're just starting out and you're using wood to heat your home, this is a great saw to have in your selection. So, again, just like 170, just like the 251, gas in the back, oil in the front, recoil on the side here. We got your chain brake. Like the 251, we have the chain adjuster on the side in between your two bar nuts. That way you can adjust your chain, make sure it's at the proper tension that you want. In the back, 
Again, starting procedure just the same. Pull your trigger all the way down to the full choke. Pull the rope three to four times till it pops. Half choke, pull it two to three times till it starts, and pull your trigger. Like I said, really nice that they keep that the same across like a majority of the saws uh, so that it's not switching it up on you anything. So, for the specs on this saw, uh, comes in at 12.3 pounds, puts out three and a half horsepower, and is a 50cc engine. So, all right, that's a few of the steel chainsaws that I think are a must have for the different type of homeowner that you may be. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching.